Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, where John Cohen and I and Manny Pacheco are going to talk about stuff Hollywood. <laughs> stuff hey, Manny, Hollywood. Uh, Manny, I don't think everybody understands that you are a Hollywood historian. They may not know that you write a weekly uh, column, a blog, uh, 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 ForgottenHollywood.com, and they may not know that that blog is filled with great, not only great stories about Hollywood and um, classic movies, but it's got a lot of resources. You, well, it's it's yeah, very useful. Along the navigation bar, uh, there's a lot of places you can visit that yeah. have lots of information about Hollywood uh, sites and where to find information about Hollywood. So yeah, you can do that. Yeah, and you go out of your way, I think, to uh, to find uh, resources that other mm. people may never know about and uh, share them with everybody. Well, if you live in the area, there are a number of places you can go. I mean, it, it all starts and ends with the Margaret Herrick Library at the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. The Margaret Herrick Library is kind of the Hollywood's version of the Library of Congress on the West Coast. I mean, they store all kinds of um, periodicals, uh, celluloid information. I mean, they, they, they have a, a large collection of any book that's ever been written about Hollywood, including my books. They are, uh, the Margaret Herrick Library is where I do uh, some of my research for my books, as a matter of fact. And um, it really is a go-to place and it's, and it's available uh, for, for those uh, members of the Academy. Uh, members of any of the unions, the Writers Guild, the um, the Directors Guild, uh, the the Acting Guilds, and it's just a great resource for 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 information for sure. Well, it's not. Uh, I find that your blogs uh, cover stories of things. For instance, we were talking about the SNA studio in Fremont, California, just uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I find that as I read every week. You are a resource for all things film and mm -hmm. uh, classic film that are just, you know, there's stuff that's off the beaten path. I would never have known about them. Well, um, I, I really look for those things. I mean, obviously, there are different agendas from people who are trying to take the Hollywood journey. My agenda is to look for things that are not uh, necessarily uh, talked about. They may be, in fact, forgotten, which is hence the forgotten Hollywood brand. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, I, I find when I find when I find a good story, I try to latch onto it. I try to attach a face to it where I can I can then tell that story. Sometimes it's a character actor. Sometimes it's a behind the scenes um, artisan. Somebody that you know, maybe I'll, I'll tell a story of Jack Pierce who who did makeup for the, uh, the the horror films of the of the Universal 1930s, or I'll talk about uh, um, the, the wardrobes of Edith Head and the uh, and the, uh, the the special effects of Ray Harryhausen, which I know Art knows very very well. He's he's done some stuff with Ray Harryhausen, uh, but there are and of course the music of Max Steiner. I mean the list goes on and on where you can you you just look for those stories of names that are familiar, uh, but um, you know, that you just can't place where they're from. And it's my job to kind of refresh your memory and, and, and tell those stories. And maybe you'll walk away feeling entertained or at least informed. Yeah, um, so you, you, you do a good job. But I want to compliment you because it's not just the obvious Hollywood stuff. You're in touch with uh, groups all around the world. Um, I think of uh, two things. One is your annual trip to Columbus, Ohio uh, every year. It's at the um, Laurel and Hardy. Who would have thought of Columbus, Ohio as a, a Hollywood bastion? Yeah. But you you share all of that. And the other is your, I think you're a member of, and I can't remember the name of it, but it's the um, uh, <laughs> Laurel and Hardy tent. What, what, tell me well, the name of the club. Laurel Hardy Appreciation Society. I'm not a member, but I am. I am friends with many who are members, and there are several what they call tents these tents are yes. the, the the specific um membership area 
and, right. and, they're, and they're named after, of course, the um, they're named after the uh, the films of Laurel and Hardy. So, oh, okay. for example, the Way Out West tent in North Hollywood, um, of course, based on the film, the 1937 film, which was just a great film. Uh, and then, of course, down south in San Diego is the Sap Set Sea tent, where you can be a sap if you want to. All you got to do is join down there in San Diego. But they're, I mean, they're all over the world, and, and they, they come from yeah. Britain and Australia. I mean, it's an international group. And then they meet every other year for a, a convention where they get to, um, you know, chat about all things Laurel and Hardy, including yeah. including co-stars, directors, um just family members. I mean, it's every, it's all things Laurel and Hardy. You know, one other place I want to mention that you can go find information is the uh, Louis B. Mayer Library at the American Film Institute. And though it's not exactly Margaret Herrick, I mean, the American Film Institute has really built up a very solid brand of bridging the gap between golden Hollywood and today's Hollywood. So you're able to really... And not only that, they, they provide, I believe, um, scholastic and uh, educational resources for up-and-coming filmmakers, mm -hmm. individuals that want to be cinematographers, directors, actors. The American Film Institute is, is and I believe it's near Las Feliz, California. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but it, it's, I think, around Las Feliz. And it's a great place to watch a film. They screen films, you know, and many times uh, first run films, the, the the films that are just coming out, and um, and they always put out those annual lists, you know, those lists where it says the ten greatest l movie lines in Hollywood history, the oh, hundred yeah. greatest films of all time, yeah. the hundred, the the, the twenty five best screen kisses, the the thirty best musicals, you know, that kind of thing, the twenty five best westerns. They have yeah. they have these annual lists that, that they keep actually they keep the American Film Institute very relevant. So yeah. Yeah. you know the the one list I like best about them is the their uh, list that only has one person on it, which is the top Hollywood historian of things forgotten, Manny Pacheco. Oh. Manny Pacheco. I don't know that I'd make that list, but uh, no, I don't you, think are, you are you are the you are the list. Yeah, that's another great place to go to. So, I mean, there are there. I mean, the right the Writers Guild Foundation has a library. The Directors Guild Foundation has a library. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'd be surprised how how many things you can find at many of these uh, places that have w w what I consider vast pieces of information through repositories. And um, I I've, I've been to a number. I've been to the Margaret Herrick Library. I actually been to the Writers Guild Foundation. A library as well. I'm, I'm just telling you, these are great resources for you to be able to tell your stories and confirm stories that you've heard, so that you're not just, you know, doing this spreading rumors or gossip about about things. That you're trying to really share valuable uh, information and stories that really keep the the classic cinephile intrigued. Maybe right. they'll see a film different because of a story you tell. And but that's the first good. place to go look is at www.forgottenhollywood.com. <laughs> well, thank you for that. I appreciate your kindness on that. But I have to go somewhere as well. And th these are the places that I, I choose to, to visit. So thanks. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.